How many times can you do something, yeah. raise a lot of money for a great cause, and have fun doing it? Right. So, right. And we've discovered that it's a lot more fun being the scare e, the scare er, the scarer than, than the scary. E. We know what's going to happen. Scared. Yeah. Like any actor, uh, they have to be able to emote. They have to be able to express feelings. So, I, with a, if you're a zombie, you have to be able to act channel like a zombie, your zombie. channel, channel <laughs> your zombiness, actually believe that you're actually dead, and walking and maintain that, that presence, no matter where you go, whether it's in the house, outside, uh, because it's hard to stay in character. We have different types of scares. The startle scare um, is, is basically an actor who will pop out from the side, um, and the timing has to be correct. Uh, we have victims in the house, so uh, if, you're, if you're one of the victims, you have to be able to actually believe you're actually being held in a cage, being tortured. <laughs> We have stalkers as well, who, and Bridget is a stalker. You want to talk about stalking? Well, for a stalker, it's not just like popping out and like going back in, which gives them like a startle. It's like actually like giving them a creepy feeling, like, oh, they're following. Like a stalker is when you like you follow them somewhere. The key is for the scares to be unexpected. So we have startle scares where it's least expected. We have a little girl following you with a knife, which you don't expect. So it's the, it's, it's the unexpected. It. I don't know whether I should be proud of that or not, but I am. <laughs>